Today I'm going to show you how to use your dehydrated potatoes. If you haven't seen it, be sure to check out that video first where I show you how I actually dehydrated my potatoes and then come back and watch this to see how to rehydrate them and use them in a delicious recipe. I am going to be making scallop potatoes with my dehydrated potatoes. So let's get that started. So I have here about four cups of dehydrated potatoes, so one large jar. So we're going to start by adding that to a casserole dish. So we add our potatoes dehydrated to the casserole dish. And just to show you how, how dry these are, they're really dry. It's almost like a pasta. Seems like pasta. So after you've added your potatoes to your casserole dish, we are going to add two cups of hot water. doesn't need to be boiling, but I'm going to add two cups of hot water to this to start rehydrating the potatoes. Just make sure all your potatoes get under the liquid as much as possible. So we're going to set this aside and we're going to start our sauce. The sauce is really simple. Consists of making a roux, like a mixture of uh, flour and butter and milk. I have all my ingredients here measured out. All I have left to do is to chop up my onion, so let's do that. Alright, my onion's all chopped up. Now let's move everything over to the stove to make the sauce. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add our butter to the saucepan and then kind of saute our onions a little bit. I have three tablespoons of butter. So once your onions have sautéed for a couple minutes and you're getting translucent, don't overcook them. This is where you want to add your flour, your salt, your pepper. And if there are other spices that you'd like to add to your cooking, like garlic, dry mustard, uh, the sky's the limit. You can add any kind of spice that you like to your scalloped potatoes. So I will add my flour. Mix that in. And this is, we're, what we're doing here is we're creating a roux. So it's making a paste. And this is going to help you get a nice, thick, creamy sauce for your scalloped potatoes. So I'm adding my salt. I'm adding some cracked pepper to this. If you don't like the black pepper, you can always add a white pepper to this if you don't like the, the black specks in your sauce. And you just want to kind of stir this around a little bit to kind of dry out your paste. So once you've done, once you've gotten your paste kind of dry, as you see, it's it's almost like a cookie dough consistency. I am adding two cups of milk. It's a little hot. I added one and a half teaspoons of salt to this, so the amount of salt you add is going to depend on how many potatoes you're using. So I added one to one and a half teaspoons of salt. But I will be adding as well some Parmesan cheese to this, which is going to increase the salt content. So you want to heat this up. Just kind of break apart the roux that's inside of there, the paste. This is going to help thicken your sauce. As you can see, the sauce is really starting to thicken. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to add probably about an eighth of a cup or maybe a quarter of a cup of Parmesan cheese to this. So I guess it's kind of a scallop potato, but maybe a scallop potato au gratin. So that means with cheese because, you know, who doesn't like cheese in their scallop potatoes? But feel free to make it how you like it. Make sure to keep the heat low so it doesn't stick to the bottom. You don't want this to boil, you just need it to thicken. I also have my oven preheating at 350, 350 degrees. Now that I've got my sauce nice and thick, I'm going to add those into the casserole dish with my, my potatoes that have been rehydrating. I'm not removing any of the liquid, I'm leaving all the liquid there. So the two cups of hot water, plus my nice thick and creamy sauce that I've created. So let's add that into the potatoes. My oven is preheating at 350.
Give that a good stir to incorporate the sauce with the liquid in the bottom of your casserole dish. You want to make sure all of those potatoes get in contact with that beautiful sauce. So I am going to add some foil to the top of this casserole dish, pop it in the oven at 350 for about 30 minutes, and then we'll check it to see how it's coming along. The 30 minutes are up, so now we're gonna remove the foil from the scalloped potatoes and see how they're coming along. You're bubbling. They look good. So now we're going to put them back in and leave them for at least another 30 to 40 minutes. Pretty good. I think we're done. Let's have a look. looks delicious let me show you now if you like a really cheesy scallop potatoes you could always throw some nice cheese on there put it back in the oven broil it for a few minutes and get this nice and bubbly with cheese on top I'm gonna leave it like it is so I'm gonna take it out of the oven and I'm gonna let it rest on top of the stove just to kind of let it settle a little bit let the rest of the juices absorb and then I'll show you the final result oh my gosh get a look at these beautiful scallop potatoes. They look absolutely delicious. Now all I'm missing is some kind of protein to eat with this. I hope you enjoy my channel. I hope you enjoy my content. If you do, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and check back again soon to see what other content I'll have coming out. If you haven't seen that, before, to be sure to check out that video first. If you haven't if you haven't seen it before to If you haven't seen it be sh be sure to check out If you haven't seen it be sure to check out that video first where I show you how